Good morning guys and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. I thought I would share with you guys real quick my um, Walmart and Aldi haul. Um, so I was telling you guys, I've been doing the Ibotta deals at Walmart and everything. I was close to tracking towards the rebates that I had, which was redeem 26 rebates in two weeks and you got a $10 like bonus. Um, and I was $10 or 10 10 of those close last week um, and then this week um, I was like oh I'm gonna try and get to you know another 16 of them so I could get to 26 um, so I could get the $10 back but I realized I went to Walmart and our Walmart is like being remodeled right now and on top of that too there were several things that I like couldn't find they didn't have like when I would look up the item or whatever they say that they have it in stock but then they don't have the aisle number so I couldn't find it and I didn't see it in stores where I would think it would be like for one they had these cottage cheese things i thought my mom would really like um they were like individual serving size of cottage cheese with um pineapple my mom really likes to eat it that way anyway i was like oh that's so awesome and they would be like half off after the ibotta rebate plus there's also a bonus for that that was counting i was like oh that's really awesome but i went to the cottage cheese section they had a, a very small amount of stuff that was there, no individual ones, no even, they only had like the big tubs. They normally carry sometimes the individual ones, but like in a four pack or whatever, they didn't even have those there. There was like stuff that was out of stock, but then I didn't even see a tag for these ones. And like I said, I couldn't find the aisle number when I looked in the Walmart app either. So I don't know. Walmart to me is very hard to find things like I go to Target and can find almost anything and I shop at Target less than I shop at Walmart. Walmart has got like the most random stuff all over the place and like I said I just I have a very hard time being able to find things in the store. Um, like I feel like stuff randomly sort of finds you when you're at Walmart and like you you could be looking for the thing have the aisle you're supposed to be in and still not actually find the thing that you were trying to find um and then randomly like I said it'll be like on a display cap somewhere and you're like oh that's where that was like and it's not even in the aisle that it said it was going to be in um so like I said I have trouble a lot of times finding stuff but there was a couple of things today that was like that that I was like oh you know and maybe I can actually get up to that 26 but I made my list actually going in and kind of assumed oh I'm not gonna you know like I was like if I can get really close maybe I'll push it like then at Target and see if I can get to again that 26 like, like I only got eight rebates back I think between today at Walmart and at Aldi I got six back from Walmart and then two from from Aldi so um like I said I, I was like oh and then maybe you know if I could get close enough I would get this stuff at Target but I didn't even get all the stuff that I wanted to at Walmart so I don't see me actually getting that bonus this week um like then maybe I can work harder in the future to try and get those bonuses and everything but I have like I said really like no clue what <laughs> what is up with our Walmart because like I said on top of that it was already a little hard for me sometimes to find things at Walmart like I said to top that off um, they're also remodeling at the same time. So they had stuff like stinking everywhere in the aisles. The aisles are now way smaller than they were. Um, so it's like a pain if there's somebody, like you can't have two carts in the same aisle anymore. It's a little hectic right now. So like I said, I did actually find one thing that I was like, I'm never going to find this. And I actually did, which I'm surprised about. But, um, so anyways, I'll share with you guys Walmart first because that's where we went first. Um, I did end up buying my iced coffee there which wasn't much more money um at target when i bought it last week and it was the exact same brand i actually really like this brand it was um i think like 450 or maybe 475 at like target it was like 446 or something at walmart um so it really i don't think was that big of a difference or maybe it was even 450 at um at Target so like I said it wasn't actually that big of a difference between the two stores um but I did spend like I said like 450 on that this week so that's why my total for the actual like couponing things that I did I, I saved just about 50% after again the rebate and there's one other one that I'll let you guys know about too it's with the box tops for education they had a, a promotion to like an you know uh a bonus where if you redeemed one of the offers that was with the box tops for education 
education and you downloaded the box tops for education app and submitted a receipt which i did um you can get an extra four dollar bonus so i might get that because i had it under the same email account as i have ibotta the difference is that um, I already had an account and I think you have to sign up for a new one possibly so I don't know if I will get that extra bonus back or not I wasn't like planning on it or anything it would be awesome if I do but if I don't like I said it's not that big of a deal um, but the cool thing is is that because I know that the box tops for education they don't do the clipping you know you don't clip them anymore and on top of that too Jack's in high school now he's not in middle school or elementary school which is where they take box tops for education so I can still submit because we buy a lot Lot of like the General Mills products all the ones that again use box tops for education we buy a lot of that stuff and get it from couponing and you know at the grocery stores on sale and stuff like that but you know um, because again we didn't have anybody that was going to the school um, we couldn't you know send them off and now though that they do have that we can still submit it for our local elementary school without actually having to have somebody that goes to the elementary school and still earn money for it um, you know because like my grandma used to clip you know the box tops for education and Campbell soup labels and all that kind of stuff and give them to us and then we take them to you know the elementary school um so it is a good kind of inclusive way of even if you don't have kids that are in the you know elementary or middle school or whatever you can still actually earn money for your local schools which is cool so i actually earned 20 cents for our school today which is kind of cool um and it was really easy again you just scan the receipt um you know like you would with ibotta or checkout 51 or whatever um so like i said i don't know if i will get the extra four dollar bonus it would be cool if i do for these items right here that I got from Walmart they would have been I ended up paying um, $21.22 pre-tax um, I did get $8.81 back from Ibotta um, like I said depending on that $4 it could be $12.81 um, so my net cost um, if I just if I don't get that bonus it would have been $12.41 or $8.41 like I said depending on if I get that $4 bonus or not um, and then also too like I was saying though I did spend like $4 on this alone $4.50 or whatever so these items that I actually did like coupon for I guess were like you know around eight dollars or so um so that was really like a like you know 50 percent savings on what i got back from um ibotta so i'll share with you guys the deal first off like i was saying the um iced coffee i got was 442 just paid for that outright because my aldi doesn't carry it anymore at our local aldi um the other one does but this one that we sh shop at now um which is actually one close to our house when we would shop at aldi and go to like caputo's and valley produce and all that stuff the other Aldi was closer they would have the iced coffee but ours doesn't I don't know if they'll just carry it seasonally or not but the other one still had it so I like I said I don't know <laughs> um but anyways that's something I might have to buy at Walmart you know on a regular basis now um so anyways though these Ritz like crackers these things um that I've done this deal twice now um they're two dollars and 93 cents and then you get um you buy two of them for that price each so it's like six bucks and then you get the 2.93 back so it makes them like a dollar fifty or so a box um and then also like i was saying with the annies this was the bonus possibly to get to that um but the annies macaroni and cheese the frozen mac and cheese with hidden veggies um which i actually love annies mac and cheese so i'll eat these <laughs> um but these are uh two dollars and 94 cents and then you get a dollar fifty back i believe on each I, it was a limit of five but i only got two of those so these again were a little under a dollar fifty each um which isn't bad for again like i'm really hungry and i just need i can't even <laughs> i'm so hungry i can't think to make myself anything i'll just throw something in the you know microwave or whatever um so those like i said were about a dollar fifty after the rebate for my bada and then the um Canine carryouts, these were um, 96 cents and there was a 10 cents back on any dog treats. So those were 86 cents, not the best deal. But um, again, I was originally when I was making the list planning on like, oh, each, you know, rebate will count towards that you know 26 that i need and i just figured the dogs deserve a little treat why not <laughs> um and then also the um the coke with um coffee this is interesting um uh, i don't know how much 
people are gonna like that like I don't know if it tastes different or weird or whatever but they had a couple different flavors I told my dad to pick the kind that he wanted because I probably won't have it um, and this was uh, the caramel kind but it was a dollar and 88 cents and you get that back from Ibotta this was the one thing I was surprised I was able to find at the store because a lot of times again they'll say they have this stuff I check the checkout line the you know the the pop aisle you know the other aisles and I can't find it and they have it on a random display case in some random aisle that I can never find um, but I actually found it in the actual pop aisle so that was cool <laughs> um, and then lastly these Pur Purina Bella um, like you know the little dog food thingies um, these were 74 cents each and there was 25 cents back um, on each of them there were a limit of five I think I just got three so it was one for each of the dogs um, and then there was also a bonus like 10 cents back when you redeemed any wet you know or canned dog food or whatever um and so that ended up being where they were like under 50 cents each like 40 something cents i believe so again that wasn't that bad of a deal either and i think we might actually save these maybe for valentine's day and they'll get a little treat on valentine's day like the puppies will probably be fine eating these like this will be <laughs> did you hear your name too mr b do you want to eat this I give it to you for Valentine's Day. You'll get a special little dinner treat. Okay, because that's the next holiday that's really coming up. <laughs> His little ears are back. Um, anyway, so yeah, they'll probably be able to eat these like one size of these will be fine for them. But um, Bliss, this won't be enough, so I'll probably have to give her a little bit of wet or dry dog food along with it too. But um, yeah, like I said, that was my haul from Walmart. You know, essentially my net cost really was like twelve forty one for this stuff, which again figuring this was almost five dollars alone this wasn't a bad little haul for these couple things we ended up spending 41.32 for these things um and like i said i did have two rebates i ended up doing as well um that was on the fruit snacks these were like three something for the giant 28 pack um like I said, maybe three seventy-five or something like that. Ten cents back from Ibotta on any fruit snacks, and then also on the applesauce as well. The applesauce was a dollar and seventy-nine cents, and again I got ten cents back from that, so it was like a dollar sixty-nine for those. Um, we also a couple of little non-grocery items that were maybe a little bit more expensive um, was for the you know for the Super Bowl. We'll probably do our little home Super Bowl party. These um, I think they're forty-count napkins, which again we might use for half of them for this year and half for next year um these were uh like a dollar 80 something i think and then also the same with the little 20 counts like little lunch or dessert plates and then the big like dinner plate 20 counts which again we probably won't use the whole things up so these will actually probably be for this year and next year for the super bowl and we might even have a, a couple left over from last year too um but again these were like two dollars or so each a little under that i think like i said around a dollar 80 something that was about six bucks and then these reusable um like sandwich bags but i thought that again trying to reduce more i actually use my reusable um, produce bags for the avocados um instead of using the disposable plastic ones um but i like was saying you know was thinking these are probably good we don't have to buy actual sandwich bags and again you know like i said these should last for a while so i got two of them i was actually happy because i first i only saw this the snack bags um but they did have the sandwich ones as well they these are six pack each and they were $3.99 I believe so it was like eight bucks also for like those so again this stuff in total was over ten dollars and then the rest of the groceries was 20 you know a little over 25 but under 30 bucks in total for the rest of the items that we actually ended up you know grocery stuff um but the produce picks were the baby bella mushrooms were 99 cents the avocados were 59 cents or 49 cents something like that each um, and then the grapes were a dollar and 29 cents per pound I believe um, we also got bananas they were just regular price I think they're 77 cents maybe or 44 cents or something like that each um, and then also too I got some hash browns for myself a little you know just a quick risotto because I did have one of them I used one of them up this week um, we got milk and then also too um, I got three things of the cream of chicken soup and three of the ranch dressings these are going to go for the um, pork chops um, and I'm actually going to do one of them for dinner tonight um, and then the other ones I'm going to do for freezer dinners that's what I decided 
instead of pulling something out and trying to defrost it for dinner tonight i'm just going to do that um so i needed those it's just like the creamy ranch pork chops you just add a package of ranch and a thing of cream of chicken soup and then you put it over the pork chops and i'm doing four pork chops um per you know like freezer dinner and the dinner for tonight as well because we got 12 in total um so these were like 50 cents and then these were i think also like 50 cents so those pork chop dinners are going to be pretty cheap too i'll show you guys those but that was the pork chops i got yesterday at Valley Produce. Um, we also got hamburger buns, tortillas, um, bread, the knock your sprouts off bread as well, and then white bread, and then like I told you guys too, the fruit snacks and the applesauce. Um, so yeah, that was over at Aldi. And that was what I ended up getting from those stores and finished up, like I said, that shopping. I'll probably wind up going to CVS and Walgreens and Target tomorrow as well, but again, I'm not super like, oh, I have to make sure I get all of these. I bought a deal at Target and everything like, you you know I don't know it's so weird our Walmart like I was saying it's just really frustrating too because they will be out of something and then it's like they never get it back in stock either like those um the Nivea men's um like those little hand cream sort of things I was telling you guys about last week I think I got the last one they're still out of stock since last week when I bought the last one and I was like they still don't have them back in stock like Target I feel like does a way better job of also getting stock back in at least ours um compared to like I said the two those two stores like again Walmart sells out of something like again it seems like the hot things from Ibotta you know they sell out of and then they never get them back in especially before it seems like the sales is over you know like then the rebate expires and then all of a sudden it seems like they get them back in um whereas I feel like personally Target does a better job of their stock is like you know if they're out of something then they get it back in sort of quickly um, but like I said, our Walmart, and on top of that too, it's just a discombobulated mess right now because they're also remodeling. So like, the yeah, I don't know. But um, I was checking too because that Bolt 24 um, Gatorade that I got at Target for free, they, they have plenty of them. And Walmart has been out of stock now for three or four weeks since I started couponing and doing my Avada deals at Walmart. Um, and they still have not got them back in. I was like, is there a shortage of them or is it just Walmart doesn't have them? <laughs> you know, like obviously Target can have them. And again, people probably bought them at Target too. Um, but like I said, I don't know. Or if there's just really heavy couponing you know I bought it in <laughs> um, population at the you know like Walmart or and like nobody does any Target stuff or like really like I said what it is and why our Target seems like it's always stocked and our Walmart seems like they're always out of stuff and then they don't ever get back in um so like I said I don't know but um anyways yeah i'm gonna get this stuff put away and we'll see what target has got going on in cvs and walgreens tomorrow all right guys so these are the um <clears throat> pork chops that I'm gonna do um like I was telling you guys the valley produce pork chops I got yesterday this was probably about 12 bucks in total and again these were about 50 cents each um so in total we were looking at like right around 15 bucks that'll be for three dinners I'm gonna do two of the freezer dinners and one I'm gonna do for dinner tonight I'm gonna do four pork chops each um <clears throat> Like Matthew will be home for dinner tonight, but then possibly when I make these again, he might not. So it's like one pork chop for every person. So again, this is about, like I said, under, should be around under 15 bucks. Um, and again, it will be, you know, like about $5 or so per dinner, um, plus sides. And we have salad and stuff like that too for dinner tonight. <clears throat> So, um, yeah, I'm just going to whip these up real quick. So, guys, I finished up with the two freezer dinner pork chops. And then I've also got the pork chops in here for dinner. Um, so, like I said, this cost about $15 in total for these three. I spent about $10 for the chicken ones that I ended up making yesterday, if you guys saw in yesterday's vlog. So, it was, again, around maybe under $25 bucks in total for, um, like, seven freezer dinners. Well, I guess six freezer dinners plus the dinner for tonight as well. Well, guys, um, it is a little late than I would like it to be actually I still think earlier than last week but um, I got distracted because Matthew and Jack are playing two different video games and somehow I kept watching one and then watching the other I think I'm finally gonna take a shower and get to bed realizing that again I told you guys we have this winter storm that's supposed to be coming and that's why I think yesterday at Jewel was so packed and today at Walmart seemed busier than average um, so I was like, you know, 
that's probably why and I wasn't even thinking guys I have to show you how much snow we got um, already it's still snowing it's supposed to keep snowing all day tomorrow I don't know that we're actually going to be able to get out to those other three stores tomorrow which is kind of okay I am possibly going to wind up missing one of the bonuses I actually realized that I was only two or maybe even one rebate away um, no maybe two I think or three from getting a dollar for the January bonus um, and so I was like I should easily be able to get that at Target tomorrow um, so I might end up like I said missing that um, that bonus you know CVS I don't have to worry about like you know my extra bucks are loaded to my card so I don't have to worry about those expiring or anything and I also don't have to worry about like oh no now there's not gonna be any deals you know like everybody's gonna go and get them because if we can't really leave <laughs> probably chances are there's gonna be a lot of people that aren't leaving to go out couponing and stuff like that tomorrow too um, <clears throat> It is actually one o'clock so far and our neighbors across the street from us and the neighbors next door to us are both shoveling their driveways now because um, we have gotten a good amount of snow and we're supposed to get on top of the snow that we already had which was several inches we're supposed to get between I think it was five and nine originally now my dad saw that it said somewhere between five and eleven inches of snow um, which like I said on top of the snow that we already had like we're looking at like probably well over a foot of snow maybe like a foot and a half of snow um but the other thing too that's really horrible is that the wind's actually blowing so it's creating snow drifts and like you'll see outside on our front stoop outside it's actually all the snow has blown up into the corner um and there's like a good like chunk of snow that's like it's blown up there but it's like windy blowing the streets actually don't look that bad and like we've had a consistent amount of plows outside which is good um I guess they look a little bit bad like I can't see actually right now because I can't see into the street because of how much snow there is out there if you guys can see this this is the part I'm talking about like this snow drift right here actually again this was all you know there was nothing here my dad had shoveled that already but this is just what's blown up here but there's like none here because of the way again the wind is blowing so you guys can even see out there too it's like creating these weird like snow drifts outside um, which kind of look cool but that's our planter that's out out there which is like you know an average size planter I showed you guys that when we built um, those sort of thing oh my gosh there's a cat oh my gosh there's a cat that's all by itself outside oh I feel so bad for it I wonder if it's the stray that lives like over that the neighbor you know got spayed or neutered or I think he got neutered I think it's a boy Oh, I just feel so bad though. I hope nobody like goes driving down the street because like you, you can't walk in the snow So it's walking in the street Oh, well, He's just going on a stroll uh -uh. Um, I don't even know where he ended up. Um, yeah, so like our our flowers are all completely covered outside Um, and like again our our planter and you guys can probably kind of tell too like that It's still snowing out there like um yeah like i was saying to our neighbors like across the street shoveled once our other neighbors were next door were shoveling i saw them out there and they were like moving cars around and stuff like that too guys but like that is the snow outside right now it's kind of crazy again because we had that bad snow that was like last weekend or whatever and then this it's like sort of crazy i kind of want to see what it looks like in the backyard but like i said i'm not I mean the streets again don't look that bad but I'm not overly convinced that we're actually going to be able to make it out to the stores tomorrow and on top of that too it might be like an unnecessary risk like we could just maybe go on Monday or something because again it's supposed to continue snowing I think almost all day tomorrow as well you want to go outside you want to see what it's like out there ready are you ready to go everybody's getting ready to go run through the snow let's go what's it like out there <laughs> Oh my gosh, do you see, <laughs> they're literally, they can't get through it, Charlie's like hopping. The two of them just ran over here, I think there's maybe less because again, the snow drifts. Are you going to go out there and go watch them too? Yeah. <laughs> Look at her, she's like, guys, this is the best part ever. Did you see them? They jumped right through the snow and they were like, that's way too deep. 
<laughs> Look, there goes Charlie again. It's literally up to his stomach. Like it's <laughs> He's like, that is too cold, man. No, keep go. Go on, go play in the snow. <laughs> They're like, we're not leaving the deck. Bliss looks like she's having herself a good old time out there. Here goes Charlie. Charlie's running through the snow. <laughs> oh, Charlie. <laughs> he ran all the way over there and ran all the way back. Let's see if he get, wants to do it again. It looks so light and fluffy though. Like it just looks very, like not, maybe not good packing snow, but it just looks like dusty. So <laughs> she's having fun. Is that fun, Bliss? Go on, Charles. Come on. How'd you guys like the snow? Oh my goodness. Was it literally as tall as you, Brav? Huh? You were not having any of that. Charlie was having fun out in the snow. <laughs> So yeah guys, like I was saying, I don't know that we're gonna get to actually the grocery stores tomorrow because again, my little dogs are having a hard time actually getting through this snow right now. Um, but like I said, it's just like stacked on top of what we already got from last weekend. It's, it's pretty crazy. The fact that it's like supposed to continuously be snowing all the way through to tomorrow, like evening, I think, or maybe even through to like Monday morning. Like my dad might not even maybe go to work. Like who knows? Um, again, this could be like a, a, you know, multiple day. We don't wind up leaving kind of thing. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, like I said, I'll let you guys know obviously tomorrow but um, as for today I'm gonna just take a shower and get to bed because I am super tired um, but again too I probably won't even be out early in the morning just because of you know like we're you know my, they're gonna have to shovel the driveways and that's probably gonna take a long time you know because again it's supposed to snow then keep snowing so like you know it's just like I said gonna be a little bit of a mess um, so I'm not even anticipating like going like early in the morning like I don't know either too if they're gonna have like the online church because I don't know if they're gonna be able to have it because they you know um, might not even be able to get to the church either like it depends on what's going on um, like I said our area has looked like it's been pretty good so far but I also told you guys too that we actually have a government building on our street so um, that's why our street normally and it's like one of the main sort of roads to get through not the main road but it's like one of the bigger ones that actually stretch from like the like our small town area to like the main street um so it's normally like it's really the only one that runs straight through so top those two things together our street normally gets you know plowed pretty good um but again it's just like where all the other side streets and all that kind of stuff too and we might wind up having a problem with too and i don't know what it looks like in other areas as well um so anyways long story short guys i'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog might not even have a haul but we'll see <laughs> if you guys did enjoy today so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your some shiny pieces tomorrow so bye guys